What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. So, guys, the product I'm showing you today is, is actually three different products from Caseco, and so this is kind of like a roundup video we got here. So these are three brand new products just, that was just released from Caseco. So I wanted to go through each of them individually in this one video to show you the different things that they have available. So for right now, I'm going to be showing you guys the Test the Case, their brand new uh, charging and sync cable, and their Sono earphones. So first off, let's get into the Testa case for the iPhone 6. All right, so here we have the Testa Folio iPhone 6 case. Now this case retails for $49.99, and so it's made of synthetic leather, uh, as well as uh, polycarbonate, so the inside shell here is a uh, plastic polycarbonate on the inside. And so this, this case has some interesting features uh, on, I haven't seen on other cases that are kind of a, a similar folio style. And so two of those features are, I like really like the window that it has here, so if you do have your iPhone in here, I'll give you guys a demonstration of this when it's in there, but you can actually preview the clock whenever it's inside the case, so you don't have to actually take out the phone, you can actually just see the display on the front or see who's calling you whenever that whenever the phone does click on. The other thing it does feature is obviously a cards insert here, so if you want to stick any kind of credit cards or things like that, it does have the capability to slip a card into there. You won't be able to fit more than one because it's a pretty thin space. And the other really cool thing, and I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of this, is the sound channel here. So it has like the sound enhancement type of thing where it get basically pushes the sound forward as opposed to pushing it down like a normal, normal like you, how you would normally experience it while using the iPhone since the speaker is on the bottom of it. So some really nice features. Let's go ahead and pop in the phone into the case and we'll give you guys some close-ups and show you all the ports and such. All right, so while the phone is inside the case, you can see here on the side, we do have the volume up and down buttons. You can still kind of feel that, uh, that, little, that little texture right there, so you can still click on it and get to it and adjust the volume. Let me see, when I press on the, the button there, you can see you can, you can preview the clock. And if someone calls you, I believe that will show up in that window there as well. So that's kind of a nice little feature. You don't have to, especially with flap cases, I, I noticed that being kind of a nuisance when I was testing some other flap style cases that when I usually pull my phone out just to check the clock if I don't have my watch with me, I would have to open up the flap, press the button, and you know, it just kind of becomes a nuisance if you're doing it constantly over and over and over again. With this case, you don't have to do that. You just pop it up, pull out your pocket, press the button, you can see the clock really quickly. I did notice it looks a little bit dimmer. It's not like it's really dark or anything like that, but it is, I mean, this does have a little bit of a shade or like a tint to it while it's on there. So just one thing to consider when you are using it. It is a magnetic enclosure, so it is uh, attaching to this right here. I don't believe it attaches from the back end though, so when you do it from the back, it does tend to just fall off like that, but when it is on the front, the flap does stay stay closed. Let me show you right there. So this stay closed, as opposed to some other flap cases which just use gravity to hold it, press it in, together. But once you put the flap, it doesn't actually stay closed. It will just pop open. So it does have a nice little feature there for that. It does have a cutaway on the top here, so if you do want to talk on the phone while it is in the case, you can do that because the microphone is on the bottom right there. And so let me go open this up and show you all the cutaways and such. So here we have the switch here for the silent switch, up, volume up and down buttons. Get to the corner right here. We have a relatively small port here for the headphone jack, so if your headphones are a little bit larger than the EarPod headphones that came with your iPhone, it may not fit in that jack, because it's a pretty small jack. There's a cutaway there for the microphone. Pretty big opening there for the lightning connector. If you have some larger lightning connectors that are a little bit bigger than the Apple regular basic one, they may not fit in there. It's slightly larger, but not by much. So if I have some connectors that are more squarish or rectangular, and they do not fit in that, that port there. So just one thing to keep in mind. And like I mentioned to you earlier, the speaker port is being uh, pushed to the front. So that's kind of a nice little feature it has there. So when you are trying to listen to videos or using the speaker, it pushes the audio towards the front of you, which is a kind of a cool thing to do there. Uh, the the sleep-wake button is covered up on there. You can still feel the click when you press down it though. Get to the back. Nice big opening for the camera, the secondary microphone, and the flash. No issues with it there. You can kind of see the thickness of the case right there. So not too much plastic. It's not too, it doesn't add too much bulk to your phone. And when you do open it up, there's a slight lip on the edge of the case, as you can see right there. But because it has that flap, it is going to protect the, the screen if you were to drop it accidentally while it is in the case. So really cool design, really nice case. This, I believe, is, re is available in a, a, a few of the colors. This is the black version, obviously, but they have a pale green, pale green version and also a turquoise. So this case retails for $49.99. Pretty nicely designed case, so definitely recommend you guys checking this out. So let's get to the next product. So the next item we have here is a sync and charging cable. So of course, not the most glamorous of, of products, you know, per se. But the one thing I do like about the Caseco uh, wire cables is that these are really thick, and this is a fabric braid, so it look, for sure looks really nice, looks really sharp, has aluminum ends on here, and they they offer it in all four colors that are available, just like the Apple, the, the iPhone, the, the iPhone colors. So you have like the the gold here, the the rose gold, the uh, the silver, and the the space gray colors. So it will match your iPhone if that's something that's a big deal to you. Uh, but the one thing I love about this cable is that they offer a lifetime guarantee. So 
unlike your Apple cables, which are not going to last you very long because I've probably gone through, I don't know, two or three of them already, and I've owned my iPhone for less than a year. So this cable, if anything happens to this cable, they will replace it free of charge. They'll totally replace it, and you won't have to worry about anything like that. So that's I, and this retails for $34.99. Okay, so this not there are other cables available that are braided cables, probably around 20, a little over 20 bucks or so. So this is $35. It definitely looks a lot nicer. It's a higher quality cable. The cable is actually really stiff. I like how it comes with a little uh, a little uh, Velcro wrap right there so you can wrap it up. But the cable itself is really thick. It doesn't it doesn't feel like a cheap cable that is going to break on you. But you have that lifetime warranty, so if anything was to happen to the cable, you're good to go. They'll replace it with a brand new one, and that's definitely not something you're going to get with other cables that retail for 20, 25 bucks or so. So definitely something to check out. And if you do, if it is a big deal to you that you have the cable matching your iPhone color, that is available to you. Like I said, it comes in all four colors, the same colors that is available in the in the uh, Apple iPhone. So this is the ch charging braided charging and sync cable. All right, last on the list is the Sono earphones, earbuds. And so this is a really nice pair of earbuds. This is a, basically like a budget-friendly type of earbuds. These retail for $19.99, so very cheaply priced. They're available in seven different colors. Obviously, I have the red color here, my favorite color. It does include additional ear tips, although the ear tips in the other sizes are not uh, colored like the ones that come with it. So the small and the large tips are just a clear, and also does come with a clip if you want to clip it to your shirt. That is available to you. So this is a... Uh, uh, a, my, a headphone a headphone pair of headphones that does offer the microphone so it does have a port for the microphone and it does allow you to control volume up and down so I believe this will work with Android devices not just I, uh, iPhone or iOS devices and you can answer phone calls by pressing the click there and you can also control your music with using that as well so for the most part they look really nice they're very lightweight they're very affordable $20 headphones so this is something that you probably would want to use to replace the ear the ear pods that came with your uh, your Apple uh, iPhone and so when it comes to audio quality, audio quality is good. It's not, you know, incredibly awesome, although I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it to be so for $20. But they're definitely not a crappy sounding pair of headphones or earbuds. So def definitely recommend you guys checking them out if you're looking to replace the earbuds that came with your, your iPhone. Maybe they've started to break or tear on you. And so this is a, like, comes with a three foot cable. And like I said, the audio quality is fine. It actually, I was kind of surprised. The bass is pretty good. I was expecting not a pretty you know, decreased bass for some types of music, but for the most part, when it came to, to listening to multiple genres of music, I didn't really have any issues with it at all. So like I said, not stellar, awesome audio quality, but they're $20 earbuds. You shouldn't expect that. This is like a real budget-friendly, really cool way to get some custom color into there. And like I said, it's available in seven different colors, so that's really nice. And it does have the built-in microphone, so you can't talk on using this cable if you're in your vehicle or walking around or whatever so definitely recommend you guys checking out the sono earbuds all right guys so that's the end of the review so if you have any questions about any of these products from caseco post them down in the comment section below i read each and every comment in all of my videos and i'll always get back to you as quick as possible if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you want to stay up to date with all of my reviews make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in the next video review